Hello and welcome to Teams App Camp. In this video, let's walk through the lab to build message extensions. I'm Rabbi Williams, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. This video is to accompany the message extension lab in App Camp. Note that you'll need to complete lab A01 to A03, which builds out the core application before starting this one, as they build on one another. You can find all the App Camp labs at aka.ms slash app hyphen camp. Up to this point of the lab, you have created the core application Northwind Orders app, which is a personal tab that uses Teams SSO and Styling, which retrieves your orders and display them for you in the My Orders tab. Now let's extend the application by adding additional capability. In this lab, we will add a message extension to our existing Teams app. Hmm. So what are message extensions? They are a powerful way for users to engage with apps from Microsoft Teams. With this capability, users can search and update information to and from a web service and share the same information in the form of rich actionable cards right into a conversation with your teammates. Now, some scenarios where this will be useful to show customer support tickets or to share image and media content. Now, types of message extensions. There are three types of message extensions that you can add to your Teams app today. Search commands, which will query a web service to get information and insert data from the response into a message. Well, think Giphy app. Now, scenarios where this is useful, if you want to look up a product and share it with your team. Action commands, which will collect information from the user using an input form or a dialogue and post that information back to a web service or right into a conversation. Scenarios where this can be useful, well, if you want to create a new product. Link unfurling which will allow you to embed a link in a message into a detailed card, giving out more information about that link than just a link pasted in the chat. You can customize this card as well. We talked about inserting rich actionable cards in the conversation and, well, it only makes sense to talk a bit further about adaptive cards, which are the actionable cards we will use in this lab. Adaptive cards are platform agnostic snippets of UI authored in JSON, that apps and services can openly exchange. They help design and integrate lightweight UI for all major platforms and frameworks. They help you increase engagement and efficiency by injecting your actionable content directly into the apps. They're always native and blend seamlessly into the surrounding UI and they work on every major platform. Now, if you want to find out more about adaptive cards, go to adaptivecards.io and you can find heaps of samples in here and the documentation that you need to get started. You have, you can see here the data um, and the template. So yes, adaptive card support templating, separation of your data and your layout of the card. Um, feel free to go ahead and try out these really beautiful looking cards um, so they can implement them in your application. Now the features added in this lab, we are going to learn how to create a search command in your application to search for a product and then share that result in the form of a rich card in a conversation like what I'm doing right now. Um, selecting chai, embedding that into my conversation and then posting that in the chat. And in the adaptive card, you can see you can provide an input field and a submit button called update stock for users to take action to update the stock value of a product in the Northern database, all happening in the same conversation. Let's update. And it's done. Now walk through of the lab. So let's get started. First, by visiting the site, go to microsoft.github.io slash app hyphen camp. And this is the landing page um, of the Microsoft Teams app camp. And once you're on the home page, using the top navigation, go to extended labs. And these are the labs you will use to extend the uh, existing application you have built using labs in path A or path B. 
and well these are your adventures available for you um, so make sure you have fun doing them select add a message extension and scroll down to exes oh wait scroll down to the concepts so you can see all the concepts we're going to explain in this lab here uh, these are linked to documentation um, and you can also see the features we're going to add on top of our core application that we're going to build in this lab so uh, exercise one is bot registration. Since a message extension is a conversation between your application's web services and teams, you'll need a secure communication protocol to send and receive messages. Teams uses the Azure bot framework for this purpose. For that reason, you'll need to register your web service as a bot in the bot framework and update the app manifest file to define your web services so Teams client can know about it. And that's why you need this step. So to do the registration, go to https dev.teams.microsoft.com slash home in your dev tenant and use these steps to register the bot. At the end of the registration, you should have a bot ID and client secret also called as its password to be used later to update the .env file. Now let's take a look at exercise two, which are code changes. You'll be adding new adaptive cards into the project under a new folder called cards. These cards will be used as part of the message extension. Now you can see here there are JSON files which integrate lightweight UI into your app. Next, we will add code for the bot. So we will add a new file bot.js inside the server folder. This, is, this bot handles search, display, and update functionality of a product within the conversation. So in the code, let's look at these three handlers, important handlers that you need to know about so you can understand what's going on behind the scenes. So extension query is when you're searching for a product or a query, extension select item when you tap on the search results, and on invoke activity is every time there is an activity. Now let's update our configuration file. Go to .env file and add the bot ID and the password. This is what we saved earlier when we registered a bot. Next, we will update the scripts to package our app to use the bot ID, uh, which we will add in the manifest file as well. So let's add that in. This is for packaging up your application. Now let's go ahead and look at our manifest template and add information regarding our message extension so you can see here compose extension and you can mention the bot id here um, and what are the other things we need to add here we have the command which is what we are searching for a product and it is of type query that means it's a search command and we are finding a product based on its product name so we're passing this parameter in now that the Teams app package side of things are taken care of, let's update the rest. So go to identityservices.js file to let the bot framework adapter do validation for the bot. Next, we will go to Northern Data Service to add functions for searching a product and to update a product stock information. So let's add these two functions in. First, to get the product by name, this is for the search. And the second is update product unit stock. This is when you click on that button and update the stock information. Next, we will also update the server.js to import the bot framework SDK. And let's take a look at that. Yes, the import statements. And then you define the bot framework adapter. That's happening somewhere here. Yep, there it is. And then you also want to make sure your request to the bot have a listener. So that's what's happening here. Now, finally, we need to install new packages. Well, I think they should have happened first, but um, let's go ahead and do that. Now to test the application by now, you know, uh, since you've already done other labs, especially the core app, um, you know that you need to uh, install all the dependencies, then you need to package it up 
And once you've packaged it, make sure that you're running your server by running npm start and then upload your app package and go ahead and use the application. Now you can add it to Teams or a to, to a group chat and you can go ahead and try it out. I will show you how to test this message extension if you are new with all the concepts here. So to test out this application, I'm here in my Visual Studio code. I have it running using npm start from the project folder, which is uh, here called messaging extension. Um, so I've, I've started the server and what you don't see is I've also started ngrok, which I think you must have covered in earlier labs. Now let's go ahead and open up uh, Teams in a browser. And this is the team where I'm going to test uh, the search message extension. So here I am, I need to update stock on a product. Uh, what I can do here is in the conversation with my teammates, I can go to this three dots and search for my app. And I can now search for the product in the Northwind database. So I can see my product coming up here. I tap on the product and I, as you can see here, this the rich card using adaptive card is being embedded into the conversation, which I can now post to my teammates. Now, any one of my teammates can go ahead and update the stock using this form. Uh, for simplicity, let's go ahead and update it ourselves. So the ex existing stock is 100. I'm going to bump it up to 150. So let's go ahead and select update stock. Right, so that is now updated. And this is how you can test your um, message extension. Thanks for watching this AppCam video. Complete instruction for this lab is at aka.ms slash app hyphen camp. Once you've completed it, you can continue any of the extended labs. Hope you have a smooth sailing and that you enjoy doing Microsoft Teams AppCamp.